I have one confession. I don't like to follow the recipe. I make my own rules. Hi there. I am Hina Patel, owner and chef at restaurant called Besharam. Today, I'm gonna show you the maska paneer. Paneer is the only cheese I grew up with. The fresh paneer, once you make it, you get hooked on it because it's so creamy. And I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch to finish. We're gonna start with boiling the milk. I'm not into measurement, but I'm gonna show you just to make it easy for you to follow at home. So I'm taking two to four cups of whole milk and equal amount of half and half. So it's very important, like when you start boiling the milk, in the beginning, you wanna stir the milk while your pan is heating up because you wanna make sure your milk is not gonna stick at the bottom. You do not wanna burn your milk. Once it reaches like a midpoint, then you have to stop stirring it because you wanna build up the steam to curdle our milk. When your milk start coming up, Oh man, you have to be ready with your lemon juice in your hand. Don't be afraid. Let it come up as high as you can wait and splatter with your fresh lemon or lime juice. You can always use vinegar. I personally like lemon juice because it goes with my spinach sauce, you know. And as you see, the water, it separates the, all the fat from our milk and leaves behind the clear water. That is our buttermilk. There is nothing wrong if you are out of time or you're coming home tired, you wanna use the store-bought paneer. I do it even sometime at home. But to have this experience of how the fresh paneer tastes, so many ways you can use this. And it, yeah, I think it's nice to know how to make it. So one thing for with the fresh paneer, you are in control how much moisture you want in your paneer. I want to have little moisture left. You can easily freeze the paneer for your future use. You put it in a tray, weigh it down, and cube it up the size you like to use, and you're ready to use it again. If you're using vinegar, and if you feel like you wanna wash the paneer, sprinkle with cold water and all the vinegar taste will come out of the paneer even with the lemon juice this is like a ricotta ah, if you try with the sugar just the plain sugar that's the best dessert we're gonna let it sit as long as we like till we are ready we're gonna get ready for our spinach sachi sweet sour spicy salty all combines together feel free to substitute if you do not have don't stress on it onion i'm gonna mince some garlic confit very unique to my cuisine is called limbo in gujarati which is our curry leaves you know that's funny when i came to london when i went to eat out they say curry it's like what is curry it's such a generic word. It took away the originality of the food. And I decided I'm not gonna call my sauces curry because it doesn't say the history of that sauce, how much it takes to make that sauce. I'm gonna chop some green onion and some cilantro, then we start cooking. I am vegetarian all my life. My mom made this with what she had. The same ingredients, she used humble ingredients and she present to us in a, such an interesting way. And I never knew that we don't have money. I never slept hungry. Something about the, the good food, the taste you don't forget. And if you bring your guest back to their memories, I'm on a right path. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna chop a little of my red chilies. I like the rainbow colors in my food. You can change the amount of chilies, how spicy you like. Let's get our paneer together. It drained well. I'm gonna sprinkle just a touch of salt. This is our fresh baby spinach. I'm gonna roughly chop it. Whenever I ask uh, growing up, hey mom, I'm not feeling well today. I have a cold. She said, I told you to finish that spinach, you did not, and now you had to suffer. <laughs> I'm gonna blend our fresh spinach 
touch of water lemon juice keeps the green color you want that green bright color you can add oil if you like in my everyday cooking i use canola oil or red seed oil because it's neutral flavor we're gonna blend it to a smooth paste then we're just mixing it slowly ingredient by ingredient in a pot i'm heating up our canola oil and i am gonna mix it with the ghee if you do not have ghee use the butter we're gonna put mustard seeds it's a black mustard seeds very important we're gonna pop the mustard seeds your oil needs to be hot goes very fast we have to be very fast now cumin we're gonna add touch of coriander as a fatida gujarati we call it hing you only need a pinch i love the pungent i'm hearing all that sounds and that's what i'm looking for i'm gonna splash it again with the fresh curry leaves then we're gonna put all our chopped onion we're gonna soften we're gonna make light golden brown of this onion at this time you do not want to leave the onion alone stay close to it we don't want to burn it i have tomato paste you can always sub it with the fresh tomatoes i like how tight the tomato paste is i only put in two teaspoon of tomato paste if you using fresh go with the two medium size roma tomatoes beef tomatoes whatever you have in hand i know tomato going out of season one thing about gujarati cuisine we always use seasonal ingredients i'm going to add our ginger and garlic the best way to know wh when it stops cooking or adding other when you start smelling it so this is a combination of dry fenugreek fennel coriander seeds and cumin i'm going to add just a teaspoon because we're making a small amount turmeric this turmeric i source it from diaspora one other ingredient cardamom we're going to use it in a savory form for this amount i'm going to use half a teaspoon we don't want to overdo it half teaspoon is perfect this is the time to add a splash of water we cooking the dry spices we do not want to burn those spices so it's important again the water will come when we use grinding our spinach so just a little bit garam masala we make our own garam masala fun fact my garam masala has a rose petals i wish you can smell it I'm gonna go with our fresh spinach juice because I'm making it special. I'm gonna add special fresh fenugreek leaves. The color of the spinach, you know, when it's done, it will go more deeper, more darker. This is the combination of curry leaves again, cilantro, some green chilies, fresh, fresh, fresh. We cook it down. We're gonna show you the end product and I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try this dish with thepla, which is the flat bread. I feel like my cuisine is still hidden. There is no restaurant or as many restaurant talk about this regional food. This is my mango oil. Just gonna drizzle it on top. I wanted to give a shout out to my cuisine. because it's so balanced i want you to taste what gujarati food is it's like the salty sweet spicy all in one bite came out perfect the spicy the bitterness you don't taste one but combination of all makes it whole it's so good try this recipe ask me any questions you have while you making it i'm here to answer if you are in town if you are visiting come see me at dog patch Follow the link the recipes there